Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jay Rum, and I'm back with another FL Studio tip for you guys today. Today, we're going to be looking at the selected track on the mixer and what it's really useful for. What I do is I usually like to put a spectral analyzer, an EQ2, on it so I can see the frequencies. I inserted an EQ2 on here, and when we highlight my voice, you're seeing my voice only. I will play this drum loop real quick, and then you'll see when I select over it, it'll be the drum loop. When I stop and I go to the gated pad, I'll play it first and not highlight it and there won't be anything going through it. But when I highlight it, you get to see the EQ. So what's this useful for is instead of uploading a hundred freaking you know, spectral analyzers on each track to see it. You just upload one instance on your selected track and you highlight whatever track you want to see. It's current EQ or your frequencies. You know, it's great for getting balance between your mix. Just be aware though, if you mess with your selected track, it will affect your master. So it's best not to make EQ changes on your selected track, but only to monitor and visualize your frequencies to try and get some balance to your mix. Hope this helped you guys. We'll see you on the next one.